Hey, welcome back at Celebrate Truth. I'm Robbie Davidson. We've got more on Bill Nye. Now, I've done a lot of videos on Bill Nye lately, but I have to because look at it. <laughs> I mean, Netflix comes out with his show, Bill Nye Saves the World. And I'm sorry, Netflix, if you're going to put a title, Bill Nye Saves the World, then you've got to be open to a little criticism because he's no savior at all. He's a joke. He's an actor. And honestly, do not let your children accept ice cream from this guy. I'll tell you that much. Now, I've gone into a lot of different things. Obviously, I'm sure many people have seen Rachel Bloom's performance that Bill Nye applauded as just wonderful. And again, if this guy doesn't have an agenda and you can't see this, I don't know what will open your eyes. But this, hopefully this video will be the straw that breaks the camel's back because... Seriously, there's no going back from this. I mean, Bill Nye, if his career isn't done or if he isn't shamed for what he truly has been all along. And it's interesting to me that even from an early age, Disney recruit him. And again, all the children that were brought up by Bill Nye are now watching shows like this. And again, using cartoons as I'm going to show uh, to kind of push his message of just warped sexuality and bashing of anyone that would have a problem with it, especially Christians, you can definitely see. So if you're a Christian and you've been supporting Bill Nye, you know, it's time to let that die because it's not going to help you at all. If you're going to support all your scientific claims based on this man. Uh, and again, I think that uh, it's a wonderful thing to see what's happening. It's almost like, you know, he went a little too far and most of the world is waking up to this. I mean, there has been articles after article after article not to mention with Rachel Bloom's performance into the ice cream sexuality piece that he did was absolutely a blatant attack on Christianity on on um, heterosexuality you know and again the song is a blatant lie Bill Nye is definitely not about making a choice about how you govern your own sexuality in the piece at all this is not what he wants what he does want is a world full of people getting to freak on with multiple partners of every conceivable gender. Bill Nye wants a world filled with loveless sex, unbridled lust, and orgies. And in order to convey that deadly message to your children, he's going to use a cartoon. And this is the whole thing. Now, Netflix has this rated for 14. It should be mature for the content and everything that's been presented in this series. Uh, there's troubling. If you look at my channel, I've done a few videos now on Bill Nye in the last week. I encourage you to look at them. I'll put the links in the description. It gets into population control. He's talking about eugenics. He gets into, of course, climate change. And we'll talk more about that. And I'll be doing a lot more on exposing that in Scientism Exposed 2 coming out this fall. But this is where it gets really troubling when it comes down to this. Because, again, this is geared towards children using the cartoon with ice cream. You know, he's not even subtle about it, okay? And he basically zeroes in at a Christian who believes in monogamous heterosexual sex and converting those that do not, right? But in the end, it's the vanilla who is converted who finally loosens up and discovers the true joy of a slut eager to have sex with everyone and everything. I mean, this is crazy. It's basically saying that uh, this is the way to go and that uh, it's not even scientific to be heterosexual. I'm not even joking. It goes so far as to say there's no scientific, uh, you know, credibility or evidence to support heterosexuality. Now, what's really interesting about the piece is it goes through all of this exploration and talking about how scientific it is, yet it never once dives into the biological fact of reproduction i mean the entire idea of the sexes the entire idea of reproduction and populating comes from that but of course bill nye never touches that all he does is gets into his nonsense ice cream sexuality bill nye saves the world and it is just absolutely horrific horrific of course enlightened and forward thinking but not everyone sees it this way but there are lots of flavors to sexuality Right, why are we here, Vanilla? Damn! Oh, this again? Come on! Ah! <laughs> Chillax, Strobs! Settle, everybody. Settle. Now, I've spoken to some of you about my theories on the nature of being ice cream. Which have no basis in science. It's the science of feelings. And as Vanilla, 
I feel that I am the most natural of the ice creams, and therefore the rest of you should just go ahead and also be vanilla. Oh. It's the one true flavor. No! <laughs> Don't make me stop being strawberry delicious. Oh, Christ. Look, no one can make you stop being strawberry, strawberry. You're strawberry. Hold me salted caramel. I just think if you want to get right with the big ice cream in the sky, change your flavor by wishing to be vanilla. What if the big ice cream in the sky is chocolate? Blasphemy. Everyone should pretend to be vanilla until they no longer have the urge not to be vanilla. Uh, I did not urge to be pistachio. I am pistachio. Hey, mint chocolate chip. Sorry I'm late. I was busy being two awesome things at once. Cool. Uh, not cool. Pick a lane, buttstain. Vanilla's trying to convert us all again. That's nuts. No offense, nuts. Come on, vanilla. Nobody wants just one flavor of ice cream. <gasps> Haven't you ever wanted to be in a Neapolitan? I, I can't, I can't. Come on, it's natural. All natural cocoa. And strawberry fresh from the field. It's so creamy and delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Big ice cream in the sky, help me. It's good. It's like. Giddy up. Meet you at the bowl. This, this is, is on. on. Oh, yes. It's like. Whee! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, get it. Woo! <laughs> get in here, nuts. <laughs> Premise, Stargun. Curious about whether the episode really was as terrible as the segments suggested? I watched it on Netflix last night, and I was disappointed to find that it was even worse than I had feared. It was one incredibly preachy segment after another of the spectrum of sex, gender, sexuality, and gender presentation. And I've done videos on this, but again, there's people that aren't even holding to the views of exposing Bill Nye for the scientism guy that he truly is, and you know, pushing all these agendas. And tons and tons and tons of people are now saying, well, wait a minute, something's up. And if we're going to hold this guy as the pinnacle of all things science, and he's going to be on Fox, you know, debating climate change and talking about how if you're a science denier, well, you're going so far as saying you're anti-science if you're not getting along, you know, getting on with this whole ice cream train, you know, hey, uh, you know, it's good to explore and it's good to be any sex you want or any gender or any expression you want. That's science. It's not science. And even scientists are getting upset uh, with this uh, presentation because, again, it is very deadly and dangerous and it's geared towards children, right? Again, they use a chocolate chip mint cone and vanilla and all these different ice creams, you know. But again, it even goes so far where vanilla is praying to the big ice cream in the sky. And he's saying, help me, help me, when all this pressure comes. And eventually he gives in, you know, joins the orgy, becomes, you know, like everyone wants him to be. And he's incredibly happy. But the dig at not only Christians or conservative values, but the dig even goes to God. And again, I found it very interesting that uh, Bill Nye wants to completely zero in on attacking not only people's face, their religion, but also starting to attack God. And knowing that basically God did create two identities in, in male and female when it came to sexuality, when it came to all these expressions, but yet anybody that's not for this, of course, is a hater or a bigot or a racist. And they love calling people names. And again, in ice cream sexuality, you definitely see this, but you see a greater agenda happening because now you're starting to see how they're validating complete sin and debauchery and a depraved worldview based on science. Again, science, they say, backs this up. Although Bill Nye never once in the show ever goes into any scientific evidence, never uses the scientific method to validate any of his claims based on his ludicrous ice cream sexuality. Again, this is nothing more than propaganda. This is nothing more than brainwashing and indoctrination using science. And why that's so dangerous is all our children are going into science class and they're being taught that science is real, it's reality, and science is good, don't get me wrong. But what we have seen time and time again in this channel and everything that I've been trying to do to wake people up is showing the fact that scientism is not science.
and Bill Nye or Neil deGrasse Tyson or all these proponents that are coming forward with a complete anti, definitely anti-religious agenda, but also getting in to the science denying talk, getting into climate change, getting into vaccinations, getting into population control, eugenics, getting into all of these things. One by one, you're seeing this. You're seeing geoengineering, you're seeing GMOs, you're seeing all this sort of thing being pushed based on the fact that science supports it. Science is showing us that we need to go this way. And this is why it's so dangerous. This is why people need to wake up. They need to like be careful on the stuff that they view, the stuff they deem as truly science. This is why it is so incredibly dangerous. I say this over and over and over, but yet we go into other articles. We've got uh, Breibart uh, talking about, uh, you know, a quote from Bill Nye, we are enlightened. We are enlightened and forward thinking, but not everyone sees it this way, Neil Nye says, but there are lots of flavors to sexuality. In the cartoon, the vanilla ice cream cone is mocked as a representation of heterosexual monogamous sex. The vanilla cone is presented as a Christian conversion therapist trying to convince the other ice cream cones that monogamous sex is natural and will help them get right with the big ice cream in the sky. However, the vanilla cone receives blowback from the other ice cream cones who contend that they cannot change the way they were born. And again, we've seen this time and time again. We understand that there's XY, there's the chromosomes, but yet Bill Nye never once goes into that. And in his earlier work, of course, he was bringing up genders and talking about, you know, the biology and how it makes up. And this is what determines the sexes and there's only two this is in a previous episode i did a video on this where you can see it i think it was from 94 uh where he talks about how there's only two here's the xy and again he points this stuff out but yet now he goes in with this agenda saying science supports it never showing us anything scientific never showing us any science to back it up and again we're seeing this time and time again we're seeing this with the ice cream we're seeing this with rachel bloom to debut her lgbt sex anthem my sex junk and if you haven't seen it don't see it it's horrible but if you must see it then go look but uh, you, you'll think it's a joke i mean there were a lot of comments on my video saying is this a parody this has to be a joke. This can't be true. And yes, it is true. This is exactly what is going on. This is the latest science show. And again, if there's no bigger name other than maybe Neil deGrasse Tyson with Cosmos, and maybe we're going to see more of that crap being pushed in his show. But Bill Nye has just been turned into an absolute clown and actor. Many of us knew this already. But this show in his blatant disrespect for all things truly science, showing his true agenda, showing truly, truly, truly who he is. And I mean, he's not even a scientist and they'll say he is an educator or he's an entertainer, but really he's pushing, he's pushing the new world order. And you can see this on the last episode when he gets into the fact that people having too many children Maybe it's time that we penalize them. Maybe we give them penalties because after all, children are killing the planet. Too much children, that's too bad. Again, everything goes against the Bible. Everything goes against God's will. Reverse it, twist it, manipulate it. This is Satan's agenda. This is what the whole plan has been all along. And we're seeing this now embraced by the scientific community or people that basically have been set up as our seers or experts or people that we look up to uh, for all things science. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but if we're if you're looking to this guy, you know, again, you've got serious problems. And again, hopefully the new show on Netflix will open many eyes maybe where they'll start looking into other forms, not just this blatant disrespect uh, for all things truly science, but getting into scientism, maybe they'll look in the difference with that. Maybe they'll look at the agenda. Why is it there's such an attack? Why is there such a push to get everyone converted to become bi or to become trans or to become a queer or to become a drag queen or a pansexual or a non-binary? Oh, but science supports it. Really, Bill? Oh, really? Love to see the science. Can you please actually have credible scientists on your show and show us the science and how this supports it? Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's right. You can't because there is none. But yet you'll sit there and blatantly lie. It's disgusting. You should be banned. You shouldn't even have a show 
anything to do with science. You should just have a comedian, you know, have a comedy show, and that's what your show will be relegated in. Uh, look in the comedy section. Hey, they're built and I saves the world. Yeah, I like a good comedy tonight, a good laugh, but you won't laugh. You might even cry because it's so blatantly sad. What is going on with the world when they look at a man, when they look at a show like this, and they applaud it, and there's people in the audience clapping. There's many millions of people on Netflix that are going to watch this, and they're going to be in indoctrinated into this worldview thinking it's scientific but it's been nothing but scientism satanic and deceitful all along unfortunately we pray we hope that many people will wake up to the lies of the world keep celebrating the truth until next time take care I, if his career isn't done or if he isn't shamed for what he truly has been all along. And it's interesting to me that even from an early age, Disney recruit him. And again, all the children that were brought up by Bill Nye are now watching shows like this. And again, using cartoons as I'm going to show uh, to kind of push his message of just warped sexuality and bashing of anyone that would have a problem with it, especially Christians, you can definitely see absolutely a blatant attack on Christianity, on on um, heterosexuality, you know. And again, the song is a blatant lie. Bill Nye is definitely not about making a choice about how you govern your own sexuality in the piece at all. This is not what he wants. What he does want is a world full of people getting to freak on with multiple partners of every conceivable gender. Bill Nye wants a world filled with loveless sex, unbridled lust, and orgies. And in order to convey that deadly message to your children, and honestly, do not let your children accept ice cream from this guy, I'll tell you that much. Now, I've gone into a lot of different things. Obviously, I'm sure many people have seen Rachel Bloom's performance that Bill Nye applauded as just wonderful. And again, if this guy doesn't have an agenda and you can't see this, I don't know what will open your eyes. But this, hopefully this video will be the straw that breaks the camel's back because seriously, there's no going back from this. I mean, Bill Hey, welcome back at Celebrate Truth. I'm Robbie Davidson. We've got more on Bill Nye. Now, I've done a lot of videos on Bill Nye lately, but I have to because look at it. <laughs> I mean, Netflix comes out with his show, Bill Nye Saves the World. And I'm sorry, Netflix, if you're going to put a title, Bill Nye Saves the World, then you've got to be open to a little criticism because he's no savior at all. He's a joke. He's an actor. So if you're a Christian and you've been supporting Bill Nye, you know, it's time to let that die because it's not going to help you at all. If you're going to support all your scientific claims based on this man. Uh, and again, I think that uh, it's a wonderful thing to see what's happening. It's almost like, you know, he went a little too far and most of the world is waking up to this. I mean, there has been article after article after article, not to mention with Rachel Bloom's performance into the ice cream sexuality piece that he did was